Hi everyone, welcome back. And what I'm doing today is a requested video um, on how I blow out my hair and get it to have some volume. And so I did that for you guys this morning. I did not use my bathroom because my master suite has mirrors all over the place. And you guys don't need to be tortured by seeing my big butt in all the mirrors. So I did it right here and I hope that you enjoy. If you have any questions, more requests or anything, please leave them down below. I love, love doing stuff for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the tutorial. No demo. It's not a tutorial. It's a demo. I hope you enjoy the demo that will be following me now. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. I am doing a requested video today. Um, at least one person had mentioned how I got my hair, big hair. Um, yeah, and that. And I just had said that I just blew it out and um, they asked for like a tutorial demo, not a tutorial, a demo on that. So that's what I'm doing. I just got my hair out of the towel and the only thing I did put on it when I got out of the shower was a little bit of my Hawaiian Silky. Um, I do have a video on that and I will link that down below. Now I have been, you guys know that I just traumatized my hair a few weeks ago. Um, so I've been using this 180 Pro Heat Rescue. I love this brand. If you guys are having issues with your hair, I'm telling you, it's really good and it's very affordable at Sally's and I just like to put this in the ends of my hair just to give it a little extra don't I wouldn't advise getting it in your roots and I forgot something so I'll be right back okay not yet my hair is no my hair is fine understand so it's a bit more of a pain and I have to be careful what's what steps I do in which order this is the L'Oreal boost it inject volume inject mousse and uh, 24 hour body and volume I really like this it's really good stuff I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff ideally I could have done this in a bathroom but our master suite has mirrors around our garden tub and then a couple full length mirrors. And no matter how I would have set the camera up, you guys would have been seeing my big butt and I love you guys. I wouldn't do that to you. So I'll just do it out here. Okay, the next step I do is this I've been trying this for about a week maybe a little bit longer the Garnier Fructose full and plush root amp root lifting spray and I'm really liking it I do like the living proof a lot and I just do it where I really want a lot of volume And then I always do the back of my hair. I only use a huge comb in my hair. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is my Argan Magic Intensive Oil, Hair Oil. My hair is so fine. And it's thicker now since I've been taking biotin than it ever has been. This Boost It Blow It Out Heat Spray Lasting Volume Heat Protectant, this stuff is awesome. I really, I really like this. And I spray that all over my hair. Okay, when I blow out my hair, I always use a round brush. And these were just used. I have not cleaned them. This I have not cleaned them this week, so they're not really clean, but they're not like scrunchy. I'm not a dirty person. Anyway, um, this one I use for my bangs. Um, 
and this one I can use for the length of my hair. Both of these are vented ceramic on the inside. These are very, I mean, very sharp, very, very sharp. What you need to do when you use these is take your hair dryer and turn it on and hold your brush like this and heat it because these flip and hurt. So heat your brush a little bit before you start in your hair. And the um, my favorite brush, this brush, I saw Toddy talking about and I ran out, found one. It has two different kinds of, ignore my hair, that's mine, it's clean. <laughs> two different kinds of bristles and down in closer are boar bristles. The same ceramic um, vent kind of a thingajiggy doohickey. And so I also heat this especially with the boar bristles. And then I use two different sizes of Velcro rollers. I use like a medium and a large, and that's the difference. I got them at Sally's, not a big thing. So I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna back up here. And I always, when I start out, I always flip over and start drying my roots up here because I wanna get the root lift activated, so. Okay, so I got my roots a little bit started. You can probably even tell a little bit. Man, my hair looks like orange in the viewfinder. Um, and I am going to start out. I'm just going to speed through it. And I would actually put my camera on mute. But I know that I would forget to put it off mute. <laughs> and then I come back and talk to you and there would be nothing. So... When you see me spraying something in some of my hair, it is going to be this, you guys have heard me talk about this a hundred times, the Garnier Fructos Deconstruct Texture Tees. Dry Touch Finishing Spray. It holds, lifts, and texturizes. This is amazing. You can use it on damp hair, dry hair. I love this. Love
Okay, so it's just that easy. A lot of people use pens to hold the curl instead of using a Velcro roller. My hair is so fine that when I go to take those pins out, I end up pulling a lot of hair out and breaking it off. So the Velcro rollers are just a lot easier for me and for my hair type. Now, of course, you can adjust the curl that you want, um, the volume that you get, just over direct it more than I did when you're drying it. Um, yeah, if you noticed, I went, I did like the medium right up here to back here, and then I used the larger one here, but I went back to the medium for the back of my hair because um, that's just, because that's just the look that I like best. So now all I do is just take, I'm trying to use up a bunch of my hairspray before I buy more of my favorite. So I'm using this Sebastian Shaper Fierce. And I just take it and So now all I do is totally forget about my hair. It's out of my face. I can put on the rest of my makeup. And um, then when I'm done, my hair will be cooled off. The curlers have imprinted that curl that I want in there. And we can go from there. So I'll be back when my face is on. Okay, guys. So I got my face on. I actually did a two for one and did a demo on the eye look that so many of you guys liked. So I'm just going to start taking these out. Okay, so this is all I do. I flip over and I put my hands in my hair like this and shake once I'm flipped over. I'll be back. The reason I do that, shake my, <clears throat> excuse me, my roots like that, is to get volume and to break up the imprint where the curlers were. And then I just start spraying. When I get something close to resembling the kind of hairstyle that I can tolerate for the day, And somebody had also asked what the name of my haircut was. I don't know. I cut my own hair. I don't know. I did go for you guys that are new to my channel. I went to let my future sister-in-law trim my bangs. My hair was like down to here. Yeah, it was about down to here. And um, she had already left for the day. So I let one of her girls cut it. And she took and I said a bang trim. That's it. She told me she liked my highlights. I told her that I had done them myself. The next thing I knew, her hair was down deep and her hand was down deep in my hair and there was hair flying everywhere. She legit gave me a shag. I had like the long part of my hair that was down to here. It was up to here and it was all fringed and all of this was like stacked like a short hair like a short haircut like it's right here to right here and if that's what i would have wanted that would have been wonderful but that's not a bang trim and you know it's you hear people say that and you're like why didn't you stop them you know what when their hair's in here and you've got like hair flying it's too late it is way too late. So I uh, 
I left and went to my mom's and I handed my mom scissors and I'm like cut it straight across and my hair was really short. Then I decided to, to darken it again. But that was the first time I had been to get my hair trimmed or cut by anybody other than myself and in a long time. And it quickly reminded me why I do it myself. Okay guys, so that is how I do my hair. When I just blow it out and it's really simple. You just have to tweak it to what works for you and your hair length your hair thickness, and etc. So I hope this was helpful. I really appreciate the request. Thank you so much. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Be good to each other.